Many people think that to launch a rocket, it is enough to point it vertically upwards and wait for the announcer to come to zero. This, however, is a big misconception. Because the Earth does not stand still. It is constantly spinning, as Galileo said before. Taking off rockets receive additional acceleration from rotation if they are launched in its direction. But this impulse is not needed by all spacecraft launched into Earth orbit. More than half of the satellites fly to their own trajectories, the conclusion of which the rotation of the planet only hinders. However, about everything in order. The Earth rotates around its axis along with people, animals, plants, oceans and launch pads. At first the rocket takes off from it horizontally. Near the poles, the impact of the planet's movement is not felt very strongly, since the Earth moves slower there. But closer to the equator, for example, at the Cosmodrome at Cape Canaveral, USA, or at Baikonur, Kazakhstan, our planet gives a rather significant additional acceleration. Since it rotates from west to east, then by directing the rocket at sunrise, you can speed it up without burning additional fuel. For some satellites, this is really great. But the problem is that for the vast majority of them, launching from low latitudes in an easterly direction is not ideal. This also applies to the islands, the matter is in the inclination of the orbit of these devices, the angle between the plane of the trajectory and the reference plane, which is considered to be the equator. A satellite plying directly above the zero latitude from west to east will have an inclination of zero degrees. Rotating from north to south, it will enter a polar orbit, and the parameter we are interested in will be 90 degrees. You can also spin across the wall, from east to west, in the direction opposite to the rotation of the Earth. In this case, the orbit will be retrograde, and the inclination will be more than 90 degrees. For the islands, this value is about 51 degrees, and its orbit is considered high. More than half of the satellites have it polar. Why do they fly along these trajectories, and why are they not satisfied with those where you can get acceleration from the Earth's rotation? Everything is quite simple here. The main reason is that a satellite in an inclined orbit can fly over most of the planet. This allows the island's crew, for example, to see huge areas of the surface several times a day. A satellite in a polar orbit passes over the entire planet over time, without any exceptions. This is great for communication devices that are engaged in mapping and conducting scientific measurements. The problem with putting satellites on these trajectories is that here at some point of acceleration it is necessary to move against the direction of rotation of the planet. And if the rockets are launched from a platform located closer to the equator, the amount of effort will be greater. It is not so difficult to achieve the goal, you just need to direct the projectile a little to the west. But, as is often the case in engineering, this is easier said than done. Fuel for such a maneuver requires more, which is why the same Canaveral and Baikonur are not very suitable for launching satellites with a polar orbit. A more northern spaceport would be preferable in this regard. However, this factor is not so unpleasant that the space powers try to get rid of it by any means. It is unpleasant, of course, that we have to take fuel on board instead of instruments and instruments, but no one is optimistic about the prospects for the construction, maintenance and operation of a cosmodrome somewhere in the Arctic. Another unpleasant problem of overcoming the rotation of the Earth is the potential danger of falling debris on the heads of unsuspecting Earthlings. Incidents of this kind are already known, including with injured cows. In the United States, for example, it is for this reason that satellites with polar orbits are not launched from Florida. For this purpose, the spaceport at Vandenberg Air Force Base in Southern California is used. It is only a little further north, but it has a huge advantage in the form of a giant ocean that stretches to the west. It is believed that anything can fall there.